Hello guys and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. So we're going to waste no time in getting started today. We're going to start off on a seated forward fold. It's just going to be in a nice seated position, back nice and upright if you can. And we're just going to lean forward with the aim of grabbing our toes. If you can't do that, of course, that's perfectly fine. But we're just going to try and feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings, perhaps the lower back as well. And if you are able to grab your toes or flex your toes, you'll probably feel a nice stretch in the calf. We're going to be here for a good three minutes. So just settle in and try your best to relax. So these routines and positions are based on yin yoga. So we do hold the positions for quite a long time. And anywhere from three to five to 10 plus minutes in some cases. You wanna just try your best to keep relaxed if you can and just let gravity do all the work for you. All right, so your time is up. Just take your time coming out of this pose. You've been there for a little while. So we're just gonna move to a dragon with a left leg forward. This is a fantastic stretch for your right groin. If you need to, just grab a block to support your right hand. And just try to consciously relax that right groin area. So you got a quick two minutes in this pose. So just settle in as quick as you can and you got two minutes. If you do find yourself struggling for balance, please do grab a block, a bottle, a chair, your bed, just anything to help you stabilize a little bit. That will just help your body relax a little bit more, help your joints and your muscles relax and hopefully just allow your body to open up.
All right, so our time is up. So we're not going very far. We're just gonna go into a lizard on the left-hand side. If you can, you're gonna bring your body forward with the aim of getting your elbows on the floor on the inside of your left leg. If you can't, you can be up on your hands, which is perfectly fine. If you can go a bit deeper, perhaps you can put a block or a rolled up blanket or pillows under your elbows just to bring the floor up a little bit. Just do whatever you can so you feel a nice sensation in the back of that left leg, the hamstring and a bit of the glutes. But at the same time, being relaxed. So it's a fantastic pose and we've got a nice three minutes here. All right, so we're done for this side. Just take it easy coming out. That's a long time to be in that kind of lunge position. So we are just gonna switch sides. So it's gonna be a dragon on the right hand side. Do whatever you need to do just to feel relaxed and to feel comfortable. And again, you've got two minutes here.
Alright, so we're just going to move on to our lizard now. So once again, if you can, just bring your elbows onto the inside of your leg. If you can't do that, just up onto your hands is perfectly fine, as long as you're feeling the sensation. And it's three minutes here. So we'll try to relax as much as you can. Try to concentrate on the breath. If you can, just simply just think about the breath coming into your body and the breath going back out of your body. So you have three minutes. Please do enjoy. Alright, so our time is up for that side, and again, just take your time coming out, you've been there for a while. So we're just going to move on to a pigeon on our left leg. So it's a fantastic stretch for your glutes. As you can see, this is not my best pose whatsoever. But that works for me. I'm not very deep, but I can feel the sensation. And just try your best to relax, because this is quite an intense pose. Ideally, you want to have your elbows, your chest on the floor. But that is, of course, just a work in progress. As long as you're feeling a nice sensation in your left glute and your left hip, that's all you need to be feeling. So we have a two minute pause here. Just try your best just to relax as much as you can. So you have two minutes. So something to look out for in this pose is to just try and keep your hips square. Just want to try and keep them facing towards the front of your mat. If you do find that one hip is twisting, one hip is dropping too much, or if your back leg is rotating out the way, just come out the pose a little bit, decrease the depth. And if you find it helpful, you can put a block or a blanket under your left hip, just to try and help you keep those hips nice and straight and square. And it should go without saying as well, if you find any pain in your knee at all during this pose, please, please do come out. All right.
right so time is up for that side and we're just going to switch to pigeon on the right hand side take your time there's no rush in switching between these poses and whenever you're comfortable just relax into the pose so you've got another two minutes here All right, so your time is up. So we're just gonna move into the puppy dog pose now. So you've got two options here. You can keep your arms extended out in front of you, or you can bend your arms, place your hands together, and try and put your thumbs into the back of your neck. This changes the pose a little bit. You might feel a little bit more in your lats and in your triceps. If you stick for the extended version, you might find a nice stretch in your chest and the front of your shoulders, but it's likely gonna be on the back of the body. So take your pick and you have two minutes here. Alright, so your time is up for that one. We're just going to move into another upper body pose and it's just one that I call the shoulder stretch. For lack of other name, feel free to suggest one. So you're going to bring your hands behind you. You want to ideally keep your hands shoulder width apart if you can, but that's not always possible. And what you want to try and do is get as close to the ground as possible. The bigger the angle between your hands and your hips, the more of a stretch. Make sure it's comfortable 
make sure there's no pain in the shoulders or perhaps the elbows and you have another two minutes here please do try to relax in this is a fantastic stretch for the front of the upper body for the shoulders and for the chest so please do try and reap the benefits of this pose Alright, so your time is up. Please do again take your time coming out of this pose. It can be quite an intense one. So we're just going to finish up with a seated straddle. So if you turn to face the side of your mat, you're going to open your legs as wide as they will go. If you need to sit on a block, then please do so or some blankets, whatever you need to do just to raise the hips to make it a bit easier. That's better for you. I'm just going to try and keep a nice straight back and we're just going to lean forward. So you might feel this stretch in a few different places. It might be the hamstring, it might be the groin or the hips, or it might even be the lower back. So it's a fantastic pose. And again, if you can, just try and come back to the breath. All you have to do is think about the sensations of the breath coming into your body and also the breath leaving your body. So you have three minutes here, you probably have about two and a half minutes left. Just relax and let gravity do all the work for you.
All right, so you made it. Time is up. And that is almost us for the routine. So we've of course got our rebound pose left to do. And this is just a great pose to take time and feel the different sensations in the body. To compare how the body felt before the routine and how the body feels now after the routine. So just come lying onto your back. Stay here for as long as you want to. I'll keep the music playing and just take time to relax. Thank you for joining me today. If you like these routines, please do subscribe, share and comment. And hopefully I'll see you next time.